Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're going to be using sublimation ink from Artispree. And I have with me my favorite little one. This is Charlotte, the mini useless crafter, who she wants, I'm sure she wants me to tell everyone that she is more famous than her mommy because she's been on TV as a cheerleader. <laughs> All right, so if you've been following me, then you know I have been love me, loving my sublimation printer. Um, I've done so many projects, mugs, t-shirts, all of that, but I do understand that, you know, to get into sublimation printing, it is, it's costly because you got to get the printer, the, the ink, the papers, all of that. So when I ran across this, I thought it was a great alternative to try sublimation without spending so much money. So Artistry has just a ton of, um, materials and, um, supplies for this. So let's get started. We're going to be doing a keychain today. So what's cool is I had never seen this before. I actually just, you know, it popped up on my Instagram feed. So I wanted to ask them how it works. But so I got to try this. This is, I had never seen this before. This is sublimation ink. It's a stamp pad. So that means all the stamps that you have, that I have, um, I'm able to now do it with sublimation. So can I'm, see, Mom, yes, honey. Can I show them the penguin? Yeah, you can show them the penguin. So we, decided on a penguin stamp <laughs> yep and so i'm going to add the ink right now the stamp is a little bit bigger than our than our keychain is going to be but that's okay so i'm going to put this aside for a minute so what is a great practice is here's our blank i'm going to draw with a pencil so it doesn't mark up the blank and then the pencil's not going to transfer because it's not, you know, sublimation ink. So that gives me an idea of how big this is. So when I go to stamp it, I know what's going to fit in my keychain. So that is going to be super cute and fun to color. And we picked this because we thought we could do the hat with different colors and we can really show you guys what that looks like. So we will have matching keychains. I, Are we doing the three marker? No, let's not limit I ourselves. Want to do that. You want to limit yourself for the three? Can I have more than three? No. What? But I'm doing this to show everybody how the colors work. Okay, so um, if you have kids, I'm sure you've heard of the three marker challenge. I feel like that's all I hear coming out of the device. <laughs> so here's mine. I'm going to do mine as well. You're gonna not, you're gonna win yourself. Okay. Alright, so there is mine. I'm gonna put this aside, close this up, and we're gonna get started with coloring. Okay, I'm starting with the three marker challenge. Right? Okay. Did you already pick? You, you have one more color? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Now, the other thing is okay. with these, hurry up, with these markers, you wanna store them horizontally when you're about to use them, so for about maybe 15 minutes before you're gonna do your project, then store them standing up so that the ink goes down to the bottom. So, all right, here we go. You're gonna limit yourself, aren't you? Okay, so I've got three different colors, so I'm super excited about how different they are, and I'm gonna start coloring them in. Now, the cool thing with the keychain is you can color outside the stamp or you know just the stamp image. Everything that is in that square is going to fit on your keychain. So I'm excited to show you guys what that looks like. Um, okay, so here we go. Mom, what if it doesn't work like the last one didn't work? I'm going on you. Okay, so we're going to color in. I know I've been saving this. We've been traveling. And we had wanted, we originally wanted Charlotte's grandma Gram Grammy to also be part of the video. But she didn't want to. I know. Was she too camera shy, Charlotte? No. She didn't she said she um didn't want to go on camera because um she didn't think she looked cute. No and me. Well and you. Silly. Silly silly silly. Okay. Because this, oh, let me, that's my heat press. I have it at 400 degrees, so that's my um, Easy Press 2. 
Charlotte, can we add another color, please? No. Ah! It's just your fault that you didn't pick good colors. Oh, it's my fault? Okay. Now, not my fault. No, not your fault. So the colors, um, when the heat is applied to it, is going to be more vibrant. So we'll be able to see the difference in the colors once we press it. But I like the idea of, I mean, I have so many stamps in my drawers. So this is, I love having another use for the stamps. And I think this would be so fun for a craft party for the kids. Like, you know, I feel like that's what birthday parties are these days, right? There's always like a little um, project. Mom, did you mm -hmm. get yellow for the feet? I don't have yellow. You lucked out with your colors. Um, but I feel like with all the girls, like I do a lot of craft parties, so I think this is great project because they can take something home, they can make something. And personally, I love anything that's permanent. So anything that she does, I mean, I, we just <laughs> we just store everything. Hoarders, collectors of all things Charlotte. Are you done? How did you no, finish so fast? Yet. Okay. Wait. I wish I had more colors. Mommy, you know what's good about the blue I picked? What? Is that it had a little purple in it. Uh-oh. What? You okay with your arm? It's a stitching. Okay. So, oh, I don't know what color to do that. Okay, I'm gonna use the pink. And then good guy, in it. It itches. Okay. I'm almost done. Sorry, guys. She's taking her time. I just scribbled on mine. <laughs> The other thing that you can do that I saw Ashley from Artist Spree do is you can change these colors by adding water to it beforehand, so more like a watercolor effect. Yeah, so, but the last time we did it, it kind of didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't do it correctly, but anyway. Yeah. All right, so let's get, mine is done. Mine is too. Okay. Starfish so, before you sash. Yeah, yes, you it. should get extra. Mom, you forgot the starfish. Yeah. My starfish is outside. It didn't make it into the thing. I had a bit of it. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to cut mine first. You cut yours. So I'm going to prep mine while you are prepping yours. Um, I need another pair of scissors. So I'm going to put... So here's my image. And then here's my blank. And I'm going to put my blank down like this. Okay. And then I'm going to tape this. So it doesn't move and this is heat resistant tape so you want to make sure you have heat resistant tape we don't want to cause a fire okay. here's your blank honey you want to put yours down can i see where you okay perfect okay and i'm going to give you two pieces of tape you want to move yours yeah that looks good there you go Okay, so I'm gonna get out my heat pad. Can I have some more tape? Yes. All the way over there. Here you go. Okay, so we're gonna put it down like this. Okay, and then you wanna make sure, I just cut some butcher paper so that no, you can't use that tape, honey. No. Okay. Um, yes. I'm just going to put the butcher paper on top so that this ink doesn't transfer onto my heat press. So I'm just going to put no. it like this. Can you me some of that green In a minute. Okay. I'm going to put this down. From the old one or the new one? New one. I'm going to sign you. I'm not. I'm not going to use it. Okay. 
Do that um, means this tape is this tape. Because oh. this one might cause a fire. Yeah. And you don't want that because that will be dangerous. Or because if you guys stay in the house and you don't expect it to happen, it will happen and then you won't expect it. <laughs> hey, well, while we're waiting for this, do you want to talk about the smash? What? At the end of this video, smash that like button and turn the um, location. The notification. <laughs> me, um, and have a big thumbs up. Yes. And that was perfect because we're at the end. Of, ooh, it picked up on the thing. All right, so let's see what we have here. Hope it's good. I hope it's good too. His, his, his. Okay. I forget. Oh, I love it. I see the colors already, Charlotte. What? <gasps> Charlotte! So cute! <laughs> oh my, I see. <gasps> okay, that's good. Are you going to put a key on it? That is so cute. Should we switch keychains? Can I have yours and you have Bobby's? No. No, because hers is so cute. <laughs> All right, let's see what mine looks like. I hope you like that. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. So we have matching keychains. We did it together. Oh, it's going to be hot, honey. Can I have some gloves? Well, I'm going to pull it off like this. Now, one of the things that I did not think of is, and it's not a big deal, but um, do you see how the inks got onto here? So I was so worried about protecting my heat press. I should have put butcher paper below because what happened was this paper went past the the um, blank and then went onto my heat press. So you just wanna make sure that this doesn't um, affect you know, your other projects. So I would probably press it a few times with, um, with butcher paper on top and then that way we can get rid of the ink because if there's any ink on there, it may absorb to the next project. But oh my gosh, these are so stinking cute. You can do this with anything. Um, you know, you can trans you can use this ink and transfer it to any sublimation um, blank. So, oh my gosh, it's so cute! I will see you guys next time. Shall um, I next time, it? yeah, we um do um this um we should do just the same thing just with different colors because it worked out on this one not the flower yeah <laughs> we we had a mishap with our flower but we absolutely love this all right see you guys next time Bye. <laughs>